Hello, my name is Brian. Has there ever been something that you've always wanted to do? A book that you've had written, a place that you want to go, a person that you want to meet? Whatever it is, imagine that. Now, there's two kinds of people in life. Those that imagine it and wish they had it and talk about why they don't have it and those that actually act towards it and eventually get it. Now, there's, those are the two types of people. 90, I would argue that 95% of people are the talkers and 5% are the doers. And I want to invite you guys to be the doers, to be the ones who take control of your life and actually reach those dreams that you have. And I have a simple way to do it and I call it the wall. And it was inspired by my good boy, Will Smith. And I think this quote from him really sums it up. You don't try to build a wall. You don't set out to build a wall. You don't say, I'm going to build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm going to lay this brick as perfectly as a brick can be laid. And you do that every single day. And soon, you have a wall. So, what I'm proposing is that you add something each week to a wall you have that can bring you anywhere that you want to go. It's really simple, and I've laid out step by step in a presentation how you do it. Uh, if you can read and purchase a Sharpie and paper and tape, you can do it. Now, what makes you believe me? What makes you think that a wall is going to help you out? Well, I have a little imagination exercise for you. You know those dreams, goals, and aspirations that you have? Yeah. Did you have those same goals or at least some kinds of dreams, goals, and aspirations a year ago? Think of how much farther you've advanced towards those in this past year. If you're not satisfied, uh, that's like most of us, myself included. If you want to get closer to it, if you want it to become reality, imagine how close you would be to it. Imagine if you would already have it had you started building this wall and adding attributes to it each and every week. And say you had 40, 50 things on the wall. I talk to 10 people a day. I read a book a week. I make new friends. I have family dinners. I eat healthy. I work out five times a week and all these things just build upon themselves because it takes about three weeks to build a habit. So at any time, you're never really changing more than three things. And really, it's only hard to start the habit for the first week if you're committed to it. So just focus on one thing each and every week and you build the wall. So my first week, I need to get a good night's sleep. I never really got good night's sleeps. So I said, if I'm going to make this thing a reality, I need to have energy and sanity. So I said, okay, I'm going to wake up at 6.30, go to bed by 11. It was a pain in the butt. I had to set a bunch of reminders and go to bed sometimes when I wasn't tired. But at the end of a week, I was more or less on a regular sleep cycle. And I just decided that I would build the wall and put that up there as well. So I'll be here. And what I mean by I build the wall, that's the first brick, is I show up and read this every morning when I wake up and every night before I go to bed. Simple as that. And so I had a regular sleeping and waking time. So then I focused on punctuality. I'm not very punctual to things. In fact, this past school year, I don't think I was ever on time more than once or twice a week to my classes. And I could never break it. So now I was chronically late to my job this summer. So I put the focus and effort on it. I created a bunch of reminders, even forced my parents to make me leave one time. And at the end of the week, I was a little more comfortable being on time. And then I just had to continue that while moving on to week three, where I said, I am impeccable with my word. Because a lot of times I would lie to myself and say, oh, I'm going to make this wall. I'm going to make a video and this is going to be a huge thing and I'm going to make a club and then never do anything about it. So each day I said I was going to do something and no matter how hard it was, I did it. And on the last day I said I was going to make a video and share it online. 
And guess what? I'm doing that. And there's no way I would have done that if I hadn't set up a regular time to wake up and sleep. Had I shown up to work on time, that helped really helped with my self-esteem. And being impeccable with my word over the course of six days really brought me up to be able to do this. And now, my last, but certainly not least, current focus is deriving value from my readings. And what I mean by that is I like to read, but a lot of the times why I read is to get a good feeling and not necessarily build myself up. So I end up not really remembering anything from what I read, and that's stressful. So I'm going to remember stuff from what I read, which in this case, what I'm reading is to find out the science behind this to help you guys and myself understand this. And I just put up some more as kind of a reminder to keep going. And then my wall will keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's just after four weeks. Imagine that story goes on for another 10 minutes and my life is transformed. I'm comfortable talking to people. I'm comfortable shooting videos. I don't know where this is going to take me. I don't know where this is going to take you. But I want to see you along the way. So I have a Facebook group with a really simple presentation where it lays out the steps. And it's really simple. If you got um, a three-year-old could do this as long as they could read. So I, I urge you to join me and everyone and create a community. Because if you have your friends, your family, me, everyone else behind you, and you behind them, we'll create a movement and begin to change the world. Thank you for your time. I value it a lot. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And I hope you do the same for me.